Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to this mindful flow. So uh, this is such a great way of coming back to our bodies when we have been in the thinking mind. So if you feel that you've been um, on the go a lot in your mind, doesn't necessarily have to be in your body. Um, at the moment, this is filmed um, during uh, when the, the a period where the world is going into a lockdown or some version of going in. Um, but we can still find that our mind becomes quite busy. And particularly when uh, we feel anxious or worried, what we tend to do is to try and overthink and over control things. And this all happens in the mind. And the teachings of yoga uh, that our mind and our relationship with our mind is the cause of the cause of suffering. So uh, the thoughts will come, the thoughts will go, and the truth is that we are the the witnesser of these thoughts. We are not these thoughts, and if we believe them and if we uh, react to them then we find that we are suffering because we are constantly swayed depending on where the thoughts go. Um, we can also find that when we are on high alert or when we are anxious or worried, the mind is so clever, it's there to keep us alive in these places where we perceive that we might be in danger. So it's constantly looking for danger and looking for things that might hurt us. So if we are... Um, uh, feeling like we are uncertain about what's going on around us, if we're feeling anxious about something that's happening in our lives, our mind can go into overdrive and we have this sensation or this illusion that we are stuck in our head. So the relationship between our mind and our perception of our mind is where we say the root cause of suffering but also freedom is according to the wisdom traditions. So we can use this yoga class as a way of coming back to our bodies um, and come back to a much broader sense of awareness that's not just stuck in behind our eyes and in our head here. So let's just ground and take a moment to connect with our bodies before we start moving. So Find a comfortable sitting position and if you feel you need to or would like to sit on a cushion then do that. Take some deeper breaths, long exhales. And just while we're in this place of stillness, Take a moment to witness the busyness and the movement in the mind. And we're noticing it not because we're trying to work out what we need to fix or what we need to change, but instead we're practicing stepping back into a place of witnessing and of awareness so that we can watch the mind as it goes off in all its different directions. But we don't get involved. We don't jump on board. And instead, we start to be more aware of the totality of our experience. So we can start with something tangible. Just notice the parts of the body that are touching your mat. And take a moment to witness those. Those sensations. feelings, whatever it is. 
Then from here, let the chin drop down to the chest. And just take a moment here to allow the weight of the head to find a stretch down the back of the neck. And then slowly, slowly begin to drop the left ear to the left shoulder. And keep both shoulders relaxed and dropping down. And slowly, slowly bring the chin back down to the chest. And then drawing the other ear to the opposite shoulder. Again, relaxing both shoulders down the back, keeping the rest of the spine nice and tall. And then dropping the chin back down. And just continue these circles or semicircles as slow as you need to. And pause wherever you feel the neck, the shoulders need a little extra love. So as you continue to keep your awareness on the parts of the body that would like to stretch out, open out, find space. So if you can place your awareness on these parts of the body without any judgment. Simply being aware of the sensations without an objective to try and fix them or change them or make the sensation go away. Simply noticing. And then let the chin slowly come back down to the chest. Inhale, head comes back on top of the spine. Pause here. opening the eyes. So we'll come to the back of the mat, come to a wide knee child's pose. So if you need to sit on a cushion here, if you feel like it's a, the ground or the heels are a little too far away, then by all means sit on top of some books or cushions. Toes together, they're gently touching, not overlapping, and the knees are wide. And then we'll pad the hands forward and let the head drop down. And if the ground's too far away, you can take some books or a block if you have one or a cushion underneath the head so the head's touching something. Allow the body to melt here. And this new pose will bring in some new sensations into your awareness. And again, we just want to witness those sensations with love and compassion without pushing them away without trying to analyze them. Either stay here or begin to pad your hands off to one side. So both hands are off. You're finding a stretch down the side of the body and then again, let the head drop down. Breathe, in, breathe into the side ribs. And then pad the hands over the other side of the ribs on the opposite side. Letting the head drop down. Okay. 
Coming back to centre. On your next inhale, come back up to all fours. And f to begin with, we are going to move super simply, but we're going to do this so that we connect the movement with the breath. And to help calm the nervous system down, this is a really great way of calming the thoughts down as well. So we want to tell the body that we're safe, and a great way of doing that is through the breath. It's one of the most direct way of connecting to our parasympathetic nervous system, our rest, restore, and digest. So really simple movement. If you find that your mind begins to um, tell you that it's bored or it's boring, then notice that the same way you'd notice any other thoughts. Remember, the quality of the thoughts is not what we're searching for. It's the fact that we relate differently to any thought. So, all fours. Inhale, rock forward just a little bit. Arch the spine and look up. And exhale, come all the way down to child's pose, bringing the hips all the way down to the ground. Head drops down with the breath now. Inhale for a count of four. Coming up back up to three. All fours, arch the back. And one, look up. Exhale for a count of five. Four, three, coming down to child's pose. Head on the ground and one. Again, inhale for a count of four, three, two, arch the spine, look up, exhale for a count of six, five, four, three, two, and one, head down, inhale for a count of four, three, coming back up, arch the spine, and one, exhale for a count of six or seven, exhaling through the nose. We'll add on to this. Inhale for a count of four, all fours. Two and one. Tuck the toes, downward dog. Exhale, five, four, three, two and one. Inhale, all fours. Two, three, arch the spine. Exhale, child's pose. Five, four, three, two, head down, one. Inhale, all fours. Two, Three, arch the spine, tuck the toes, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one, all fours. Child's pose, six, five, four, three, two, one, all fours. So you'll begin to notice that you're lengthening out the exhale. Tuck the toes, downward dog, and we're matching the movement with the breath, so we're not getting to the end of the movement and then continuing the exhale. We're getting to the end of the movement when we get to the end of the exhale. Now, downward dog. Take some breaths here. Breathing deeply. Long exhales. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears. The heels begin to slowly draw towards the ground, but it doesn't matter if they don't touch. Great. Inhale the right foot in between the hands. Stepping the right foot forward. Left knee comes down to the ground. Fingertips on the earth. We're going to take some circles here. Circling with the hips. If it feels better, you can take the, hat, the right foot on the outside of the right hand. Circling here and breathing deeply. So really opening up the hips with your breath. Keep the breath nice and long. Great. Now right foot is stepping forwards or front foot if the, the um, Screen is flipping me around. So edge that front foot off the mat to the side. And then begin to, I'll do it the other way so you can see me. So edging that front foot off the side of the mat and then come onto the left hand and flex that back foot so you're on the side of the foot. And you can come all the way down onto your leg or you can stay on that, that bent leg and push up and find a bit of release here, maybe push all the way up, maybe let the hips drop down. 
So just exploring, opening up the side of the body. The top arm can get involved. You can come up and over. You can look back towards your bottom. Nice. One more lift, maybe. Great. Coming back down, so wiggling that front foot back to the mat. And we'll come all the way back to downward facing dog. Taking some long exhales here. Notice if your mind starts to narrate your experience. Come back to your breath, come back to your body. Opposite foot forward. Stepping the foot forward, back knee down. Remember you can take the foot on the outside of the hand and begin to take some circles here. Breathing long. Exhaling long. Wiggle the foot onto there, off the mat. Turn onto the outside blade of your back foot. You can come down onto your hip or you can begin to lift up. Opening up the hips, opening up the side of the body. That top arm can get involved. Let's it, keep going. Coming back to the front, wiggling that foot back onto the mat, coming back to downward facing dog or child's pose. So stay in your downward dog or child's pose. I'm just gonna check this mic is working. Yes, great. And then begin to walk the feet towards the top of the mat. Feet hip distance apart. Hands come onto the shins. Inhale, gaze forward. Find a flat back. Exhale, fold. And shaking the head no. Nodding the head yes. Now keep the head hanging and dangling down. Keep the arms dangling down. Take a long, deep inhale. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Continue this rhythm. We'll take three long breaths to slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra. If this brings any pain into the back, you can walk your hands up the legs to support the back. If not, then let the head and the hands hang down. So you're looking back through your legs. Take long breaths, at three or four breaths. So really take your time. Keep wiggling the fingers to make sure the arms are just hanging under the shoulders. You're not bringing any tension to the shoulders. The head is the last to come up. So keep it hanging down, relaxing the shoulders. And once you finally bring the head back up on top of the spine, keep the eyes closed. Take a moment to pause. Take a moment to simply be, notice the texture of the ground under your feet. Notice the heaviness of the body. Opening the eyes. Inhale, lift the hands to the sky. Look up. Exhale, long exhale as you fold all the way down. Inhale, right foot back, right knee down. Lift the heart, long lunge. Exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Flowing forward now. Inhale, bring the body all the way forward to plank. And exhale, drop the knees down. Chest and chin follows. Fingertips off the mat. Inhale, lift up to a low cobra. Exhale, bring the chest back down. Chin draws down. 
Inhale, this time hands underneath the shoulders, squeeze the elbows together, low cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Deep inhales and exhales. Inhale, right foot in between the hands, left knee down, lift the heart. Exhale, folding at the top of the mat, let the head drop all the way down. Come up to standing, inhale, hands above the head, lift up, look up. We'll flow straight back down, exhale, folding down. Left foot this time, inhale, left foot back, left knee down, lift the heart. And exhale, downward facing dog. Rippling through the spine this time, coming forward to find plank. Exhale, lowering with either with the, uh, the knees on or off the ground. Inhale to a low cobra or maybe an upward facing dog. If your back is asking for a deeper back bend, exhale, downward dog. Breathing here. And if downward dog's not available for you today, simply take child's pose and reconnect to your breath there. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee down, lift up, look up. Exhale, folding at the top of the mat, let the head drop down. Coming all the way up to standing, inhale, lift up, look up. This time take your hands to prayer in front of the heart, bring the toes together to touch and heels are slightly apart. Chair pose, dropping the arms down, inhale, bend the knees, bring your fingertips to the earth, sit a little lower in that imaginary chair behind you. Now keep the body, the legs where they are, but bring the body up, the upper body up. Bring the arms parallel, looking through the fingertips. See if you can sit a little further back into that chair, checking that there's no bootylicious bum sticking out, so the tailbone draws down. Stay here, or maybe sit a little lower. Squeeze the inside zip between the thighs and the lower legs. Breathing here. So as we stay here a little longer, more sensation will begin to come into the body. Stay with the sensation without narrating it, without the mind trying to analyze it or try to talk your way out of it. Try not to grit your teeth and stay in it. Simply allow yourself to be in this experience exactly as it is. Inhale here, exhale, folding all the way down, head drops down, releasing. Inhale, gaze forwards, find a flat back, and exhale, step back to plank. Take a few breaths here in plank, checking that the hips are not too low, dipping down or too high, nice long line between the top of the head all the way down to the heels. If it's too much for you today, you can bring your knees down to the ground at any point and breathe here. Again, you'll notice that as more sensation comes into the body, notice the mind begins to race or begins to narrate and come back to witnessing the sensations, allowing the thoughts to come and go without holding on to them, pushing them away. One more inhale. Exhale, knees down, chest and chin. Inhaling to a back bend of your choice, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward dog. Breathing here. Taking a few breaths. Feeling the heaviness of the hands and the feet on the earth. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Inhale, lift it all the way up. 
Exhale, right foot in between the hands. Left heel to the earth, warrior one. Inhale, begin to grow and lengthen in your warrior one. Right knee bends, left foot is at 45 degrees and the arms are over the head. And take a few moments to simply ground here. Now imagine there is a hand behind your calf and you're resisting the hand. It's pulling you forward and you're resisting the hand. So you're drawing the heel back towards the back heel. So both heels are drawing towards each other. As you're doing that, the right hip's drawing back, left hip's coming forward, and you're grounding into that back foot, grounding into that back leg. So we've got active legs here, breathing here. Long exhales, relaxing the jaw, allowing the body to breathe deeply, breathing into the belly. Keep the legs where they are, interlace the fingers behind the back. You might want to wiggle the right foot a little further towards the right or the front leg if the, if the camera is flipping me, I think it is. So left foot a little further forward to the side of the mat, interlace the fingers behind the back, inhale, lift the heart, humble warrior, exhale, folding forwards, arms up and over the head. And breathe as you are. Taking long, deep breaths. Arms are allowed to come as far as they want to go or to stay near the hips. And inhale all the way up, hands above the head. Exhale, bend the right knee a little more for warrior one. Inhale, straighten the leg, this time the front leg, this time scoot the back leg in a little shorter, preparing for pyramid pose. So both hands can stay on the waist, or you can take the hands to prayer in front of the heart. Inhale, lift the heart, find a long spine. Exhale, keep that long spine as you begin to fold forwards. We're going to inhale all the way up with your long breath. Inhale up, and exhale, fold again. Looking down to your top toe, so the back of the neck stays long. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, fold. This time, find a place where you can stay for a few breaths. Back of the neck stays nice and long, so the chin is drawing down. With every inhale, though, you can have a sense of the spine lengthening, the heart opening. And with every exhale, have a sense of softening. Hands into your legs for a bit of extra support or to bend the front knee just a little bit you can. But even though we're in a static place, with every inhale you can think of it away as a wave rippling up the spine, lengthening the spine. Exhales are softening. Breathe as you are. Right. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, bend that front leg, hands come down to the ground. We lift the back leg up to a standing split. And breathe here. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee, so that top leg, so the right leg. Take it behind the front leg as if you're coming all the way down to a cross-legged position. Inhale all the way up, that top leg reaches to the sky again. Exhale, bend the top leg and tuck it behind the front leg. One more, inhale, lift it all the way up. And exhale, bend it, tuck it behind the front leg. Inhale, up. Now this time, press that back leg, the right leg, back behind you. Fingertips come forward and lift the heart. So we're preparing to come into warrior three, but we're taking our time to get there. It's gonna be quite a challenge, but that's fine. We'll connect back with the breath. If you need to take your hands on top of some cushions or some blocks to come a little higher, if the ground's too far away, you can do that. You can also bend the front leg, the standing leg, as much as you need to. Press that back leg back behind you as if you're closing imaginary door and slowly begin to lift the body up to find warrior three. Breathing here. Hands can come to the waist or to prayer or to reach in front of you. Breathing as you go. Warrior 
One more inhale. Exhale, bring the back foot back to a low lunge, left knee down to the ground, bend the right foot. Inhale, lift the heart, and tuck the left toes. Exhale, sorry, the front toes, the back toes, sorry, back right leg. Exhale, straighten the front leg, flexing the toes to the sky. Two more like this, front knee bends, lift the heart. And exhale, drawing back, straightening that front leg, releasing the leg, one more. And exhale, great. Inhale, bend the left leg, front leg, hands come to the ground, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. And breathe here. Nice long breaths. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky, so the opposite leg to the front, to the first one. Exhale, step in between the hands. Warrior one on the other side. Right leg's forward, left leg's back. Back foot's at 45 degrees. Bending that front leg, arms above the head. Take a few moments to ground here. Have an, a sense of the heels drawing towards each other so the legs are active. And then soften in the skin, soften in the jaw. Long exhales. And whenever you find stillness, if you can soften again in the body and connect back with the breath and notice how the mind might start narrating what's going on or judging. We simply watch whatever it does without trying to change it or beating yourself up. Straighten the front leg, hands come to the waist, scoot the back leg in a little bit. You can turn those back toes in a bit as well. And coming to our pyramid pose. Take the same hand variation you did on the first side. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, begin to fold forward. Back of the neck stays long. Inhale, come all the way up. And with your breath now, two more. Two more ripples down. Inhale up. Exhale. This time stay here. Find a place where you can breathe. And the inhale, you lengthen the spine, back of the neck stays long. Every exhale, fold. Nice, inhale all the way up. Standing splits at the top of the mat, hands come to the ground. Lift that back leg and fold. Inhale here, left leg lifts up. Exhale, bend that top leg, tucking it behind the standing leg as you bend both knees. Two more like this. Inhale, top leg lifts all the way up. Exhale, bend that tuck, top knee and it tucks behind the front leg. One more. With your breath, long exhales. This time, reach that back leg, more of a parallel, um, parallel height to the ground. Walk the hands forward so the spine begins to lengthen. And then slowly come up to a warrior three, looking down to the toes or to the floor so the back of the neck stays long. And breathe here. One more inhale. Exhale, hands come to the ground. Reach all the way back to a low lunge. Back knee comes down, untuck the back toes. Inhale, lift the heart. Three ripples to exhale. Straighten that front leg, toes come to the sky. Might need to walk the hands back. Two more in your own breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Exhale. 
Great. Inhale, step forward, back toes tuck under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing as you are. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forwards. Step to the top of the mat, gaze to the horizon, inhale. Exhale, fold. Coming all the way up to standing, inhale, lift up, look up. And exhale, hands come to prayer in front of the heart and just pause here for a moment. Opening the eyes, stepping one foot to the back and turning to the sides, doesn't matter which foot it is. So feet become wide, toes in, heels out. Great. Hands come to the waist. Inhale, lift the heart and exhale, keeping a flat back. We're going to come halfway down, so a kind of tabletop. Inhale here and then exhale, come all the way down so that the hands come down to the ground. Now, if the ground's too far away, you can bend the knees if that helps, or you can try taking your feet a little wider. Come onto your fingertips now. Inhale, gaze forward, find a flat back, and exhale, fold. We do two more like this with your breath. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. One more. And exhale, settle in and folding, finding the position that you can stay for a few breaths. You can take your hands back a little bit in between the legs if that's available for you. You can stay exactly as you are. So again, a yoga practice is not about finding and creating particular shapes. It's more about using the different variation of these shapes to get into the body. So with your eyes closed, if you don't feel like you're going to fall over, take in the entirety of this experience, physically, energetically, mentally, and allow this experience to be exactly as it shows up. Notice if the mind begins to analyze, to judge. And coming back to the sensations in the body. Coming back to your long exhales. Inhale halfway up. Now take your right hand in front of your face, down on the ground. Inhale the opposite hand towards the sky to find a twist. Now stay here with your breath. Deep inhales, long exhales, and at the bottom of your empty exhale, then see if you can twist a little further. Stacking one shoulder on top of the other, See if you can put a bit more weight into the feet, not so much into the wrist. And breathe here. With every empty exhale, see if you can twist a little further. Bringing the top arm down, swapping hands. Inhale, opposite hand to the sky. Breathing here, long exhales. At the bottom of your empty exhale, hold the breath and twist a little further. Then long inhale. Exhale. And bring the hand back down. 
Bend the knees just a little bit so you can put the hands on the waist and come to a flat back. Take a deep inhale here. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Step to the top of the mat. Eyes remain closed once you come to Tadasana. Staying here with the eyes closed. Making sure that you feel the heaviness of the ground, of the body on the ground, sorry. Making sure that we are witnessing without trying to change anything, with no agenda. Awareness has no agenda, it simply witnesses what is. It's our minds that create the duality, creates a sense of right or wrong, good or bad. Inhale, lift the hands to the sky, look up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, gaze forwards, flat back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Left foot stays forward, right knee down. Inhale, lift the heart and tuck the back toes. Straighten the front leg again. Now either stay here, if you feel the stretch in the front leg and the toes flex to the sky, you can stay here. Or you begin to wiggle a little further back with your leg or a little further forward with your front leg and slowly come down to splits or whatever version of the splits you're working on right now. But before we, whenever, usually whenever a teacher says splits, then we have this idea that the pose has to be the full version of the pose and that you have to have your hips all the way down to the ground. But it's just an opportunity to find a sensation. So if that means keeping the back leg as bent as it was before, then that's totally fine. We're slowly easing into it. And then stay wherever your body asks you to stop and breathe there. Notice if the mind likes to compare, to analyze. Breathing here, finding softness with your exhales finding space with your inhales. Nice, slowly easing out of the pose. Take your time to ease your way out. Come all the way back to child's pose. Bringing that front leg back, knees together. This Sitting back on the heels and let the head rest on the earth. And coming back up to all fours. Opposite leg steps forward and then begin to Draw the hips back so that front leg begins to straighten. Toes face the sky. And then slowly ease your way into the place where you pause and breathe. Whatever the body's asking for right now. Long exhales, finding space as you inhale, finding softness as you exhale. Slowly easing your way out of the pose. 
Stepping the front leg back to child's pose. Arms rest beside you, head on the earth. Hands come onto the shoulders, lift the body up, rocking onto one side and lengthen the legs out in front. So we want to take some cushions or bolsters under the hips while we're lying down. So just grab something near you that you can take under the hips and then come all the way down to lying on your back. Bend the knees so that the soles of the feet are on the ground. And then lift the hips up and slide the cushions underneath you. So you get a little lift and support under the hips. And you can stay here with the arms spread wide. Or you can take the arms over the head. And if it feels okay for the lower back, you can even straighten the legs out and find an opening in the front of the body. Now, if you are on your moon days, you might choose to not lift your hips to the sky because you want to keep the pelvis grounded, but also the energy flowing down. And if you want to, you can simply draw your knees to the chest and just give yourself a massage with the hips on the ground and the knees in the chest, giving yourself a hug. Allowing your body to soften, to release here. And bend the knees again, soles of the feet on the ground if they're not there already. Arms drop down so you can lift the hips and just push the cushion to one side and the hips come down to the ground. Inhale the knees to the chest, give yourself a nice hug. And come into a twist, just for a few breaths. So arms come out wide like a T-shape, drop both knees to one side, doesn't matter what side. If you prefer to have the bottom leg straight, you can take this option. We'll just take a few breaths here, softening, releasing. Breathing deeply into the belly so you can use this twist as a massage for the inner organs. Long exhales. Inhale, center. Long exhale in the center. Deep inhale. And twist the opposite side.
Inhale, center. Exhale, pause here. Give yourself a hug as you inhale. Coming down to Shavasana as you exhale. Staying in Shavasana, releasing and resting. Taking this time to completely melt. Now your body is in stillness. Again, notice the movement in the mind, but sit back in that place of witnessing it.
Begin to take some deeper breaths. Move the fingers and toes. Take a stretch or a hug or roll onto one side and take a pause. Slowly coming up to sitting, taking your time, being soft and kind with the body. Taking the palms to touch in front of the heart. Coming back to that place of witnessing, of noticing. Knowing that we can step back to this place of witnessing at any point. Take a long, deep inhale. Exhale, bow the head down to the heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you feel you would like to donate for this class and the link is in the description. Um, if this is not available for you, then please don't worry. Enjoy the class, my gift from me to you. Check out Whole Health with Rachel and Lucy Facebook page for all the other classes, meditations, breathwork talks. There's tons for you to get stuck into, so please do check it out. Thank you.